Hey there. It's Thursday, so that means it's time for 3 Minute Thursday. I'm Terry Sawchuk. Yesterday was Valentine's Day, so I hope everyone had a good time, got to spend some quality time with loved ones. I want to take this 3 Minute Thursday today and just step away and look at the big picture. Talk about what I think I see coming down the pike, both on more of an intermediate and then a long-term basis. So on a more intermediate term basis, I, I think this being an election year, uh, I think we're, we're, we have to expect chaos. Uh, if you think about you know, how challenging you know, getting through the 2020 election was, I think 2024 is only gonna get more difficult if you can believe that. We've just gotten to the place where the, the bureaucracy, the largesse, the corruption, the uniparty system, it, it all is, it's, it's gotten so bad that they're going to do anything they can to defend themselves and to make sure that somebody else can't come in um, and prosecute the, the things that have happened. Uh, and so when you're that desperate, you're willing to do anything. And I, I think 2020 was a precursor to what we might see in 2024. So prepare for chaos. You know, once we get past that, whatever it looks like, I, I think we're still dealing with long-term trends that are going to create inflation. And this is structural, okay? This has nothing to do with short-term economic swings. It's the deglobalization of the world's economy and the fact that countries don't trust each other anymore. And, you know, we're working through this phase where nationalism is on the rise, populism is on the rise, protectionism is on the rise. And as the global economy shifts, new trade alliances are formed, new trade routes are formed, maybe even new currencies are formed, um, it's going to force the United States, which is really all we care about, to re-onshore a number of our manufacturing facilities, whether it's semiconductors or pharmaceuticals, you name it. It's A lot of it's going to have to come back. Um, and then we're going to focus on trading partners, right? Probably Mexico and Canada more than China or even Europe. So that's th those are all, you know, structural, um, I guess, headwinds that we're going to face that are going to push prices higher. It's going to cost more to do all this stuff. So in the long run, a combination of structural sort of inflation coupled with, you know, the massive amount of debt that we have, it's going to put us in a position where if you have assets, you're going to have to figure out where to put those assets to stay ahead of this long-term inflation. And, and interest rates on the long end, right? So 10 year, 20 or 30 year interest rates are likely to go higher. Even though it looks like they might go down in the short term, structurally, I think we're gonna be higher for longer and that's gonna have implications. So this is all big picture stuff. And I just wanted to kind of touch on it today in this little three minute window that we had, get you thinking about some big picture stuff. Next week, we'll get back to more of the short term gyrations of the market, but I hope that kind of opened your mind a little bit and gave you some things to look forward to. And I'm excited about our next chat on Three Minute Thursday.